Well, hello everybody, I'm Connor McCall. And I'm Emily Rasmus. And welcome to VNN. Today we'll be talking about many different things. I, for one, am going to be talking about the show and the many different things that we do here. Also, I'll be talking about the upcoming class of freshmen. And I will be taking you through the upcoming Spirit Week and, of course, the production of All Together Now. This should be a fun show and we'll see you when we get back. <laughs> Boy, am I happy to be back. Me too. Well, welcome to the Viking News Network, your source for everything to show tech. Totally unbiased. Uh, I know you may be confused because we used to be Good Day Neshoba, but we're back better than ever and starting off fresh. Come along with this change. We'll be bringing you up on current events going on around the school and keeping you in the loop with everything. Our priority is to fit you, the people's interests, with what needs to be brought up on this show, whether it be about various clubs looking for signups or just recaps on sports games. Well, that sounds very exciting, but on the topic of new things, let's get an inside meetup with some of our new faculty this year. Uh, my name is Mr. Fusco and I teach history. My name is Mr. Safonchik and I teach mathematics. My name is Mr. Barrett. I'm here to teach ELA. I'm Jonathan Graham. I'm a math teacher. Uh, I'm looking forward to having good discussions in my classroom. Track season. Being part of a school system, a public school system, where there are events, where there is a large student life. Getting to know like all the new people and having a much tighter community than, I'm, than I've had before. My goals for the school year is to be the best version of myself as a teacher that I can be. To make sure that the students that I have in my class learn as much as they can. Learning the school, getting better at Google Classroom. To be more involved with school than I've been before. I would like to make the school better by being uh, a good teacher and somebody that my students can go to if they need something. Just getting fired up about everything. I love just being a part of people's high school experience and as loud and as excited and as pumped about everything as possible. For everyone to feel valued in their classrooms, to have an atmosphere where students, if there's something on their mind, they feel comfortable enough to you put the words with the emotion and let an adult know what's going on. To just encourage like a friendly community. The students in my classes, I, I'm really appreciating the time I get to spend with them. Make it a great day or not, choice is yours. Welcome back, and right now let's get into the Spirit Week that's happening from the 18th to the 22nd. Obviously, with school game back to normal around here, one of the main things the staff has been trying to keep strong is the school spirit. That was a little hard to do during COVID. So, remember and save the date, October 18th to the 22nd, the school will be hosting the Spirit Week. Both students and staff are encouraged to participate, and quite frankly, I can't wait. This week is jam-packed full of fun events, like tie-dye day on the 18th. Make sure you wear anything you have that's tie-dyed. And on the 19th, great hallway decorating contest after school. Make sure to wear your grade colors. Remember, if you are a freshman, wear yellow. If you're a sophomore, wear green. For juniors, wear red, and of course, for seniors, wear the color black. For the 20th, make sure you are matching with your friends or even a teacher for Twin Day. 
If you're a sports fan, get excited to wear your sports, sports merch to celebrate Sports Day on the 21st. After that, you can also go to Diggy's Pizza, my personal favorite, located at 175 Littleton Road here in Westford to help us in a pizza fundraiser. After that, you can come back to the school at 6 p.m. to watch a movie outdoors. That is still currently being determined what movie it is. On Friday of the 22nd, wear blue and white to truly show your Neshoba Tech pride. On this day, there will also be a pep rally for everyone. And for seniors at 11.30 a.m., there will be a senior BBQ. There is a lot more information, but if you guys want more info, always feel free to ask your teachers or keep an eye out for posters located around the halls. And now it's time for an interview with one of our new sports directors, Mr. Callahan. Hi, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Callahan. I am the new athletic director for Neshoba Tech. I am a special ed and math teacher. I've been here for four years, but it is my first year back as the athletic director here at NT. This is my fourth year um, in this term. I also taught before. Um, I taught here a few years ago, left for a couple of years, and then came back. So it is my uh, sixth year total at Neshoba Tech. Uh, I've always been passionate about sports. I'm currently the head hockey coach as well. Um, when I first, the first time I worked here at Neshoba Tech, I was the athletic director as well. So when um, Mr. Creed moved up to the um, dean position and the, and the athletic director position opened, and it was a good fit, I knew all the things that needed to be done, so I decided to step in and take it. Really just want to make sure all the teams uh, have all their needs met, make sure everything's organized and uh, running smoothly, and just try to provide the, the best experience for each team and, and make sure that they're, they're getting everything they need to be successful and have a good experience. So I've coached high school athletics for over 10 years now. I have a master's degree in sports management and experience as an athletic director. So, you know, a lot of, lot of relevant experience that, you know, provides me with the knowledge of what needs to be done on a daily basis and make sure that I'm able to take care of each team and what they need. Be organized, work hard, uh, keep in contact with all the coaches and all the administration, really just make sure I know uh, where everybody is and what's going on and, and be able to react quickly to, to what each team needs and, and again stay organized and, and be ahead of the game so um, everything goes smoothly for each team. Uh, really wanting to work hard to, for each team to be successful and, and get what they need and, and that's what they're going to get from me. I, I, I'm not going to leave anything on, on the table. I'm going to work hard and, and make sure everyone's getting what they need. Yeah, but you know, being part of a team uh, you know, staying motivated and being active. Uh, also, you know, you have to be eligible to play a sport, so it keeps an eye on your grades. It really just rounds out the whole student uh, experience here at the building, too. It's, you know, taking advantage of both the academics and the shops, and then uh, being on a team and, and using those benefits as well. It just rounds out the whole experience for you here. sports can be a really big part of some people's high school journeys. Uh, and speaking of sports, let's uh, talk about our Athletes of the Month, which have just come in. And for the boys soccer team, we have Davidson Fleming, who is a senior captain and leads the Vikings in assists. Next, we have Douglas Hall, who is in the engineering technology program playing in the midfield. Lastly, we have Sadie Tracy, who plays for the girls varsity soccer team, and she not only won the NT Student of the Month, but also won the SB Lives Massachusetts High School Athlete of the Week for September 20th through the 26th. And um, also on the topic of sports, I think we should cut to Senora about the girls varsity soccer team. The role that I play for the soccer team is the head coach of the girls varsity soccer program. I have been the head coach for the last 10 years. I was the assistant coach the first year we had a program in 2011. So from the fall season of 2012 up until this current season, 
I've been the head coach. I played soccer all through, I think from the third grade up through my junior year of college. My team does have a lot of experience in playing soccer. Uh, the majority of the girls started playing when they were also in grade school, and a couple of them have been playing since they were three. Our goals for the season are pretty lofty. Um, <clears throat> ultimately, we're trying to get into the playoff. Our first little goal is to get to nine wins. So far, we're at five for the season, so we just have to win four more games, and then we can start talking about what we need to do to make a playoff run. Our team strengths, oh gosh, they, they work really well with each other. Um, they're very friendly, there's a lot of camaraderie, help each other out, they lift each other up, they're very positive toward one another, they really work well together as a team. Our team's weaknesses, I think, have a lot more to do with confidence, so for a lot of years our team struggled a lot in the winning department, in the games, and some of that is still left over. So so one of the big battles that they have is just believing that they can win all of these games and we're, we're working really hard on that. I feel we do have a well-balanced team. We have a pretty strong forward line. Our defense gets stronger by the day and I finally have found some midfielders that work really hard and they bring a really good balance in between the lines. There are a lot of responsibilities that come with being the head coach, um, organizing practices, checking in on the players, making sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, making game strategies analyzing games, working with individual players, working with groups of players. You know, we have different, we'll do different defensive strategies, different offensive strategies. We work with the midfield to, to help them um, do what they need to do. So it's a really busy two and a half months. Man, I think that girls varsity soccer team really has a chance at making it far this year. I hope they do. So, uh, do you know about any productions that are going on this year for the uh, Viking Theatre Company? Oh my goodness, I do actually. Currently, the Viking Theatre Company has been busy working on not one, but two productions. Alongside of their production of 12 Angry Jurors, we also have All Together Now, which is a multiple musical mash. Well, I guess you could call it a Deuce Bach musical, but one of the songs in it is a song from Newsies, the Broadway award-winning musical. But currently, well, that needs a lot of people to do it. And if you know Newsies, you know that that has a lot of people needed. So if you know anyone that likes to dance or want to help out with the production of All Together Now, please go and ask Smith or go to the Viking Theatre Company Google Classroom to sign up. The sooner, the better. Sounds like a great experience that some students will experience when they do it. Well, I hope so. But now let's sit down with the new, new Dean of Students, Mr. Creed. Yeah, Mr. Creed, this is my uh, 15th year here at Neshoba Valley Technical High School. Previously, I was a social studies teacher and then assistant dean and athletic director, and now the dean of students. Uh, my goal is to create a uh, comfort culture where students uh, look forward to being in school and are successful, whether it's in academics or in their shop, and are successful once they leave here. The biggest challenge, I think, for you know all students of this age is how to uh, deal with coming out of this uh, pandemic along with the ever influence of social media while doing that. It's, you know, it's new to me, so anytime something's new, um, you know, there's a difficulty in getting, you know, getting your foot off the ground and getting started and organized and uh, in that way it's more difficult than doing what you're used to. I just hope that the uh, student body uh, were able to come together to realize uh, that I care and that I am here for you and that we can make this a better place and you know look back to the reason why you came here at one point you left your public school to come here for a reason and I hope that you attain that reason yep so the best way is uh, through email the letter J then creed c-r-e-e-d at neshobatech.net uh, but our office door is always open, whether um, I'm here or the assistant dean, uh, Ms. Naponin, or our secretary, Ms. Johnson, and we're always here. The door is always open for our students.
Man, I have really high hopes for Mr. Creed this year. I do too. Did you know he's been here so long and I didn't even know that? Oh, I knew that he was um, mm -hmm. a sports director before, but I'm pretty sure he was a history teacher before that too. Oh yeah, you're right. So talking about more new things, the newest freshman arriving at Neshoba Tech this year is the biggest incoming class we've had since 1987. Yes, that's right, 1987. I'm not even that old. With a whopping 208 students. That is nearly 25 more than last year's freshmen, with more kids coming from the western portion of the district, especially in Pepperell and Townsend. Hopefully this is the start of capturing more kids' interest in preparing for careers in their life, so Neshoba Tech has more and more students my bad, more and more freshmen each year. I for one am enjoying this because most people don't attend the tech because of reasons they want to believe, but really it's a great way to get a head start on life and build a future for yourself. I couldn't agree with you more. Being here, I mean, it's been just a rewarding experience, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's a great way that you can make friends and do something that you really want to do in life. Now, this is probably going to be my most favorite thing of the day. Let's go with culinary to learn how to make eggnog cookies. Hi, my name's Brianna Schmoyer. I'm a senior in culinary and I'm going to be making eggnog cookies for the Christmas season. We're going to be putting four cups of butter and four cups of sugar into the big mixer to cream them. The next step is to combine four eggs and four cups of eggnog to the butter-sugar mixture. The final step of the mixing process is to combine all of the dry ingredients to the mixture in the bowl. The dry ingredients consist of flour, salt, baking soda, baking powder, and nutmeg. So after the mixing process is over and you've scraped the bowl thoroughly, we bring it over to your sheet tray where you normally line it with parchment paper. You take a scoop, and you scoop it into even circles and you place it down. We use scoops to make sure that they're all evenly shaped and sizes. And here we're doing a four times batch for the restaurant, so it's gonna be a lot of cookies. Afterwards, you wanna make sure you bake it at 350 Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. When they're done, they should be a light golden brown. You take them out to cool, before prepping the icing. To make the icing on top of the cookies, we use two cups of powdered sugar, four tablespoons of eggnog, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now we just dip the cookies in the icing, wait for it to drip off, and you place it down. So eggnog cookies are a type of drop cookie, which means there's no shaping or forming involved. You take a scoop, you scoop it up, and you place it down. And then you're done, and you've got your eggnog cookies. Man, those look absolutely delicious. I can't wait to make them this year, too. Those nice chocolate chips on top, just wow. Mm -hmm. That brought it home. And if you guys didn't know, that was a segment that we do called Neshoba Shows You How, where we will show you many different things and it'll teach you something new every single time. Mm-hmm. And we're planning to do that every week, so make sure you stay tuned. And with that out of the way, that's a wrap for our first ever show of VNN. I'm Connor McCall. And I'm Emily Rasmus. And we'll see you next time. I came to this school because I saw a lot of potential in everything that it offered. Getting a choice of 19 technical areas to all the extracurriculars and sports. I was excited to come to this school because they offered a technical program, a great academic program. I get to come in every day and I get to do something new. For me, I think it's the best decision I could have made. I think it is so important for kids to be able to express themselves. You need to show off who you really are.